Hello everyone, we're gonna be trying this worlds here and I'm gonna be putting it up right now to see if it will be working properly of course so you are putting in the game up now trying to get it to run if it will run, it will be nice So you will see that I'm sitting on a different device now, it's got a different resolution and everything. Yes, that's because I'm now not sitting on my normal desktop. And this notebook which has a lower resolution of course on this screen, it's not full HD actually. It's quite sad, but at least... Um... So, I promised a Shadows video a very, very long time ago to some of you viewers and some of the comments on the previous This World's videos. It's been a long time delight. I tried to record one moments ago, but it kind of got scrapped. And why got it scrapped? Because, simply said, the recording tool wasted the video, so I had to install a different one real quick to make it work. So, Cam Studio, you see the desktop shortcut there, it fucked the entire recording up once it started, once it started processing, it was a too big file, and it didn't want to load in memory, it gave an error and corrupted the whole recorded file, which was several gigabytes big. So, I'm trying to see, you will notice that the game is modified, so, might be something you might like, you might not like, at least I do like the new atmosphere I've given to the game. I mean, it's been heavily modified, so here is it. This is Wills. I'm gonna plug my mouse now in to make the play easier. Now, there we go. Here we are in the game. We're gonna start a new one. And it's very simple. We want to start as a normal empire. We the settings are still the same as set before. It will be an Hardiously difficult galaxy. So you see, it's big. It's really. I just want the expansion of the other empires to be more advanced than myself. So destroy pirates do not respawn. That's a good one, actually. Pirates put some 70 nearby. That's also good, but I actually want to set them to average range. So next, we want to be having colony prevalence, occasional. And these being really sca scattered. I actually want to give the uh, pirates a little early game advantage that's needed for them. So the colonization range is low. It's actually very low here. And you might wonder why is it so low at all? Well, you've set the colonies to be quite wide apart. Well, it's actually because the empires will not develop very well, but the pirates will become a menace. I was playing Tekans here. You see they've got some smaller military ship size, but they got good civilian stuff. I'm not one I'm wondering between several other races, but the Tekans are at least not too bad, so I'm gonna continue with them. Everything is still so as previous time. You will hear the soundtrack. So, this will be the start of other empires, respawns 15 at the start, independent colonies will be forming new empires. Will be mostly a sandbox game by the way. So, you will be uh, having uh, victory conditions not applying at all. So, this game will not be giving a victory until we reach a set location in the timeline. What we'll be trying is to conquer this uh, big empire, a big galaxy, just with this empire. And we will do it with any means necessary, but we will try to be nice guys. But the previous match I was trying to play, there was an empire nearby being not so nice to us. As of course generating the galaxy, and it's gonna spawn us right into it right now. So. If I'm not really mistaken, we are, there we go, it's showing us, here we go. See, it's giving us the info, we are real rulers of the Tekans, we have one colony and one system. So, actually, currently, we're shitty, we're really shitty. 
and seems I'll still be playing through touchpad because my mouse just broke down. At least I cannot hover with my right mouse button and not even press it. Seems we'll be playing with a touchpad anyways, which is shitty, but well, at least with this I can be pressing my right mouse button. Well, first, optimization still set correctly. Good. Now we're gonna dive. This is the first deck and the only one we will be have uh, one of the few songs still being original this one. The rest is all modified. Well, Empire settings of course is okay. We want to really um, so always want to investigate these stuff. So okay, of course, Empire settings we want to be setting. Okay, patrol it's going to be engaged. System talks escort is going to be okay. No problem. Now, of course, the first thing we want to dive into is tacking. Shields are nice to have, but we want nothing else in the beginning. This beam weapons is nothing we want in the beginning. We want to be unlocking something nice, something powerful. Enhanced missiles, and energy torpedoes, shipboarding, and then right after to starfighters. Then we will be grabbing armor plating and approved assault tactics. So, that's in this area of things. Here, transport systems is something you unlock, then heading straight for colonization, then going for cruise systems, storage. By the time we will have encountered races, we can grab maybe some text from. So, this will be our queue here. This area, we want to be having the shields going first, and we are likely going to hit. Okay, so. I'm, having, I'm a bit more clumsy now in controlling this game. Likely keeping the mouse plug in just to zoom and to swap around, so I will just be using this to actually couple these two. Now we're gonna dive into designs. These two guys are gonna be first being taken a bit in our hands. We want both of, both of them actually to be using the missiles for now. So this one is already using missiles, yes, it is good. The exploration ships are actually going to be as cheap as possible, but also as fast as possible. They will just rush towards early colony sites. So, they just have to cover on one and a half times the system diameter, tops. These guys will be very fast, and they will have, have only one goal. Unlock the secrets of the early game tech. So, cheap sh ships. The construction ships, on the other hand, in the early game, are also meant to be nothing else but cheap and long range. So we would have to be careful with these, of course. It's one six head modules, it looks like. And some yeah, those life support are critical for this. Okay, but of course, it's having way too much excess energy output, so we won't be needing the majority of these stuff. It want it does want to go a little bit faster this vessel. So we are going to give it some extra thrusters to make it go a little bit faster and giving an extra reactor. So it will be hitting 20 speeds about that area. So we want it to be able to hit the edge of the system. Now of course it is going to be a very fast vessel. It's over its top. See? 24, 23, okay, this is about at its top of thrust. So, for now we want this to be that size, and the other stuff here. It's not gonna get any real grades, for now. Spaceport is actually gonna be the first thing we'll be building, but we want to know, do we know pirates? We're gonna offer them protection agreements. Yes, we are gonna enhance, enact protection. We want those. Okay. So we are actually having our early colony now. We are having the early stuff set up. And we are gonna be having to build a small spaceport now first. Of course, and right after we want to be building an energy research station for very simple reasons. 
So, and then the next project, then after this construction vessel. So, speeding time up. Actually, gonna try to uh, be building this uh, station real quick. And then pumping out some exploration plot. I'm just gonna see. This got a radic site just up there. Okay, good. Just gonna be building one single exploration trap, which will rush over there and then just leave. So the spaceport is actually gonna be having its really stiff build. It's one single exploration trap. That's all we will be building ourselves, actually. Might sound idiotic, but this is really to save as much as possible and costs. So we are having our accelerated uh, research process going on. Of course, we're going to be exploring that relic site here first. It will likely be going to yield. So first we explore that. There should be a wreckage somewhere around the system. Orbiting a uh, planet which will be having Kaltos and that stuff on it. Well, for the rest we're gonna then after just let it, let it return to the spaceport. Your next mission, refuel at Kama Spaceport. Okay, so you're now having the initial uh, stuff going. Okay. So we are actually, they are offering discovery, which would be no thanks, please. They are also offering the same discovery, likely. But we must not spend all the money in one go. We have 29k on hand, and that's really the best we can do for now. We might eventually want to buy only one extra team here, which will be defensive base or high tech. The weapons are actually not really that much needed in the early game. You, if you unlock the missile attacks, it's enough. But we want this activation craft to be rushing its way towards here. If we manage to find a wrecked starship in this system, it could cause us to gain a technology boost beyond imagination. It seems we are slightly unlucky in this area of the map, currently. So we aren't having that hidden ship. Well, it seems it's gonna colonize, so we're now really wanting to focus on unlocking this, so... So we want to be removing this one from the queue and stopping this one, and then after going back to that one. So we got some shields, and we of course want some energy collection in these guys. So it depends on our surroundings if we're gonna unlock this one early on. But for now, we're doing okay here. Our research center is generating some nice money. Of course, we are grabbing a gas mining station now. Looks we're having no Kaltos in our system, which is a very big advantage. Should be rushing for this deck now, so. We'll be grabbing a few more science stations here. We will be just decommissioning them later on. But for now we want five of these to be present here. So we'll be all our research capacity in total. But for now we do want to unlock the stuff really as soon as possible. So the pirate missions are not really being offered by us yet. Potential colonies also not present. So this, we really want to go and rush to those warp field precursors. We are going to be wanting to become a galactic power and we need to fight for that. So, really. There's going to be reasons to assume that the enemy will be trying to attack us very soon now. Of course, we cannot nick technologies from the pirates yet, but they can easily leave from us. But the walking precursor is really our first priority for unlocking. And see, our actual output is way lower. 
out, so just temporarily. I hope we get a potential science location on the system, but I highly doubt it because we're lacking some stuff on the system. I'm also going to check on which type of plant we spawned. Uh, we got silicon on our planet, so, which is good. So, and for now, I'm just wanting to add only one construction vessel here in the system. So, we are actually having 28k of cash, as you can see here. Now, we are going to try to uh, go to Zip to Interstellar Spaceflight real quick. So, we're rushing towards it, if really. This is called called rushing towards interstellar space flight. Nothing else. Later on we can of course switch all our research after we unlocked the shields and the warp field precursors. We can switch all our research to colonization tech because we are in a quite decent looking cluster here. It's got plenty of systems nearby, which likely will have some colonies inside, so we should be starting to expand really quickly once we unlock uh, those nice hyperdrives. Okay, so we got our civilian technology now getting good boosts. Mining ships are now going to be mining some more planets. Looks like they are going to mine uh, this one here. Yeah, they're going to mine this because polymers likely. We want to be establishing colonies there anyways. Well, looks like we are actually getting really fast with the world field purses. I'm actually wanting to unlock a few decks which we have queued now. They're gonna be no trouble at all to unlock actually, so that's gonna be the fun part. And the good news. So, okay, so this is gonna be really no matter for unlocking. We're actually gonna be having these also already unlocked, and we're gonna go for the enhanced ones. And of course, they will give us a quite decent bonus on a lot of stuff. So, with this, we can eventually be having quite decent uh, power production. We will keep the civilian economy in this stuff, and then we're moving them to quantum stuff. But of course, we want to be going to these eventually too, so pirates can bomb our colonies. Efficient hyperdrives are no issue anymore when you have cluster galaxies. You use really supply craft. So here we want to be grabbing colonization tech also really soon. And it's a shit expensive tech, it's on the par of the hyperdrive tech. So we are really gonna be having uh, trouble unlocking these stiffs, but. Hopefully as soon as we got to warp drive requests we can use the time we happen to explore our surroundings. And have this be um, our basic stuff. So okay, so we are now having here uh, This class is a big one next to us and there's some other big ones even in this area and we've not even covered a quarter of the galaxy just yet. So I'll continue in here. Let's see, it's really gonna be some big fighting over this uh, galaxy. There's gonna be some big battles in the future. It's so, like we can already visually see this is an Telesea system, which is a main sequence star having quite some decent planets. It looks like, of course, our race also unlocks. That's not this race. Well, of course. Looks like it's going to ha be having some sort of uh, resources here, which are good for extraction. An ice moon, which can is really low quality, well, that's no good. Of course, barren rock planet and an um, ice planet, which is fair quality. Okay, so we are having our little wind system now developing. So we won't be building stations really quickly outside our home system unless we find a nearby rift, but it's looking like it's proceeding very well the research. It's gonna be four years before it's done. Not too bad actually. Allows us to build a oh, oh. Ah, that's a uh, pirate ship. Was a paying those protection fees, which is something which costs us money, but we have a very big positive cash flow. 
It's because this race has a good colony revenue bonus, which allows us to eventually be taxing our economy really big time. So we are going to upgrade this uh, to a large space, but actually I'm fine with that now. So at least right from the start we will be having something big to defend our home systems with. So... At least the issue won't be of... Uh, won't be of issue here. That thing, re re that thing uh, so I'm not mistaken, you could see on the construction screens how far this with ready to fitting and see it's trying to ready to fit it and it's 85% in the process. It will be not too long before it's done. They will add a big bonus so you can see if you go another time now to it, you see that it's now a 99% almost done. There we go, it's upgraded and has a little bit more firepower stuck on it, but it's got no shields yet. It will be soon uh, done. Of course, it will cost us a lot of maintenance this base, which is far bigger. But it might enhance our research a little bit. Let's see. It's not enhancing our economy that much yet. We have no other colonies, which is the main measurement for this. Territory controlled, which is colonies, systems, stuff like that. But for now, um, we're surviving here in our little local pocket. So population growth is also going very well. I think I'm maybe gonna tone the taxes down in this colony a lot. Since we're having 23k bonus income, we could be rushing some colonization tech quite soon. At least this transport systems tech can be rushed very soon. Wealth recursus is not able to be rushed, it's a shit expensive tech. This one is one we would want to have soon too. We are currently having here this little uh, spaceport. Oh, they are for the discovery. Well, we got some money now, so this ancient ruins somewhere. Okay, well, it's not that much issue here. At least we traded with them, which makes them on a bit better terms than the others. So we did buy some stuff from them. Of course, we are currently having. Our income is still rising because of rising population, of course. And they're actually having quite high taxes. Well, should be unlocking uh, the first uh, hyperdrive tech not too long from now. Usually it takes longer to reach this moment. Ah, well, colony location, that's also an always nice to have. And it's in the Vinara system, eh? Where is Vinara? That was a system not too far. That's here. A rich race is living in Axilians, an ice planet. Ooh. And Axilians are living on ice planets. Yes, so we can start colonizing ice planets from that moment onwards. So it would unlock two advanced colony types. So. These ones are intermediate and swamp continental are the early ones. As soon as we have hyperdrive tech, we'll be able to incorporate that colony into our empire. Now we are actually gonna be having these uh, transport systems going. Non missiles are also good. So we have 36k currently in stock, of course we bought some tech. And our income is still rising due to increasing economy and population. So, I'm still happy about the progress for now. So, once we have those uh, unlocked, we will be getting a big boost. Of course, unlocking this one is gonna be a shit issue, but things have to be done and this one is very important it will enhance the colonization capabilities of our empire a lot it help if we unlock some other tech too of course we always have intelligence agents which can scout out nearby empires Ooh, 
press research, so we don't need to spend our money on that. Our money is still rising well, of course. Soon we have to refit on a lot of stuff because of unlocking shields and hyperdrives. Exploration plot won't be fitted with the hyperdrives or with uh, the exploration stuff. So, 72% till we got the uh, warp field precursors, which is the important tech we want to grab. The most important one currently. Science locations, do we have knowledge of potential research? Because those are really good. You put a big research base there and you're fine for the coming time. So, um... It's only a little bit of uh, all this Wills music still in here. And plenty of uh, Terran conflict music inside. Our uh, ex uh, rebirth music actually. Bought it from the Humble and the Bundle, so. I dare bet that it might even unlock the transport systems earlier than the uh, hyperdrive stuff, but I think the hyperdrive is just gonna be just in front. But it's good, because colonization will be up next in our queue. So that's gonna be good. So we can expand very fast soon. But our main goal should actually be to expand our economy too. Of course, this way it's not gonna be that effective yet. 82% so it's gonna be knocking to the next level in uh, about uh, 16 months 8 months 8 months will take to knock to the next level because this month will knock to 86 actually it's gonna take 16 months Six now. It's gonna slap itself to the next level, then we're gonna have it uh, very soon. Eighty nine, so four months still. And I think the eleventh month of this uh, in game year we will be having it. Yard to the buy of stuff. Quite likely. So, okay, we have new scientists. Yes. 92, and it's a 9 month. So, two more cycles and it should be done. Maybe three. So, I'm a bit of latency here. We're of course running a big galaxy. Ah, nice. We're gonna crash research it. Which will unlock it the next month. Very likely. So, in this month, we will be unlocking the field precursors. And then we're gonna outfit the first ships, which will be our exploration. There we go. So we have the very ex the one of the most important texts in the entire game is now unlocked. Manually upgrade this exploration. We're gonna add a war bubble generator, but its range is shitty, so you want to stick six small fuel cells on it, but of course that's gonna increase the size a lot of this vessel. At least you want it to be able to cover almost an entire sector, which is this range. Now for that to be done. Wanted to be having losing a bit of high speed edge on other stuff. So stick one extra. Well, we want to give it over just one entire sector of range, like this. So actually, it's going to be fairly slow in hyperspace still. We want to later outfit it with just one single of these, but it's now way too big. So we want to slap two of these off and a proton thruster. 
it's three too big. Well, it's still wanting these life support and stuff on it. So that likely means that we have to start one more thrust off. So the con the, will make this ship hideously slow. But at least it will be able to dis discover the direct surroundings. We will be upgrading our exploration craft now, which is just one single one. Retrofit, please, to the newest design. Oh. Okay, um, we do not need interstellar warfare ships that much yet. So, but we are going to be building six exploration craft to be exploring our surroundings. Of course, the next designs we will be building are these gas mining ships, which will be getting this slapped upon them. It's not much of an addition, but at least they will be able to mine in interstellar distances. They're not fast, they don't have big ranges, but they do the job they're supposed to do. Of course, these we want shielding before we're gonna upgrade these further. Small freighters, of course, are small and they are not really big in fitting size, so they are gonna get some small upgrades too. Also, their range will be enhanced a lot. That's for the sole purpose of being able to cover half a sector. That's their goal. Construction ships are not gonna get any upgrades going yet. Because we don't want those to cross the boundaries of a single system yet. We want to first have the shields to make them able to defend themselves somewhat. With shields being unlocked in a not too long time. We're actually starting to explore our surroundings now very quickly. Now. Oh, there's some Keltos being here. Keltos of Kamas, okay. So, we are gonna be having some combat ships needing soon. One of our first combat ships will actually be fitted with some decent weaponry, but we want the shields too. Because Empire money is still really rising like craziness. These enhanced missiles are not gonna be uh, our task. I want to crash research the colonization and that's why I'm saving money as much as I can. There's plenty of exploration ships just still being constructed here. Now. We are about to unlock the shields too, which is something I really love to see happening. So, there's low research going into uh, the other areas, but of course we can 50-50 between the high-tech and energy fields. We have a high-tech research location here, which is currently having unknown resources listed, but we're gonna gain access to it right now, which will be our first if we are going to be acquiring. So, you are gonna build a construction vessel which is gonna be doing nothing else but to stay and automate it. Ah, there are from plenty of system technology but no tanks please. These guys are playing the system map so... And they're for a decent one. So... okay. Now of course... This ship is now not fitted with any hyperdrive currently. That's good because we want to retrofit these construction ships at earliest opportunity. Okay, so... We have shields, we're gonna grab the energy collectors too real quick. So we at least won't be having any kind of energy problems. Well, the construction ships... Show buildable non-obsolete designs. Well. 6 PU, but I'm gonna have to upgrade you with a war bubble generator which allows you to travel interstellar distances. And I'm gonna have to give it a range which is decent. Of course it's gonna be slow still this vessel, we're gonna give it 800 shields, that's default for me, for these things. Saving the galaxy, we're playing for half an hour by now and we unlocked the basic technologies. These guys are gonna have some defensive capability at least, I hope. 
is later editions will. For now this will just be having uh, the early game stuff. So they will be strapping some extra cargo base on them. It got 800 shields, which is a lot. It will be when shields hit 50%, this one will retreat. That sounds very late, but it's not actually. Okay, so this one, cannot currently build a design of this size. Well, sorry to be you, but I have to be building these big vessels. Okay, so likely we want to be slapping a thruster off. And a cargo bay, of course. You can slap two of these off. But of course, now we got a basic vessel capable of traveling quite some big distances. So, it will retreat when it's hitting 400 shields. And of course, the first vessel going to upgrade is our own private one. We're going to be upgrading right now. Okay, so you're still not upgraded. Good. Then we have here the Yotlis system, whereas of course we want to be building the research base here. Of course, with interstellar distances, we need to have better re defended research base. So, this one gives a bon nice bonus to high tech research. And the high tech research station is going to get a small upgrade since it's an interstellar distance away. We want to have it some capability of defending itself, so it's going to be having this sort of defenses here. Of course, now once extra head modules as extra life, life support on it, well, that's fine. The weapons place station is going to be no different than this. Four shields stuck on it. It will force it to add one of these. Energy research also not any different. So. Small freighters of ours are going to tra travel these interstellar distances and not be able to carry much in one go, but still, they are able. Mining ships are going to be very good too. Of course, first ships going to be getting interstellar travel capabilities are these guys. They're going to be also be fitted with some basic shields. Now, why would I fit on such a small vessel some basic shields? The reason is quite simple. These little vessels do want a bigger size stuck to them. Seems. The shields are really the essence of these vessels, so they are small. They are slow, these vessels. Very slow currently, and they are having bad reactors on them. So. But it's gonna work. These vessels are gonna work. Okay, of course, now we got the shielding tech. We want to stick 1500 on these bases, and of course, it requires us to add a few of these. Of course, when we soon get upgrades to the uh, other stuff, we will be a gas mine station. Since we can build it interstellar distances, we want to be giving these some defensive capabilities too. So, if this gas mining station will be able to defend. Of course, these are a bit more important, so we're gonna stick six shields instead of the mining stations having four. Manually upgrade. Okay, and uh, two seekers. Move the pulse blasters. Okay, so mining station is also upgraded. The small spaceport is by default gonna get a thousand shielding on it. There's two thousand, I don't want that much on it. Of course, it's still having plenty of defense and plenty of firepower, but this is gonna be way better in defending itself than anything else. Meme Spaceport is gonna get 2000 of these stuff on it. Also, quite the same reason why. So, 2000 large spaceports, of course. It's gonna get 4000 shielding on it. So, people will ask. Why the hell do you want to stick so much of this shielding on it? Well, these are both the last. That's the entire reason. These guys, medium freighters, are also gonna get a war bubble and a shield generator stuck on them. So they will be having some small shielding capabilities and they will be having short hauling range for interstellar distances. So, 
they are going to be able to cr cross one third of the sector. Large fleeters are just going to get the, this one stuck on them and the shields. They're too big to build currently, so the civilian economy will not build them just yet. Which is what I'm planning because these guys are going to be wanting to have some really good stuff stuck to them. Because they are going to be wanting to stick in quite some decent things on them too. Of course, these are going to be a great later on. This is the early game stuff we will be having. Now, of course, they are, we are having now one of the construction ships having nothing to do. This one's automated. Okay. And pause. And please go and bully your fortress or high tech racing station. Yes, please. Of course, we are wanting to have the other two ships retrofitting to the latest tire. So, this one. This one's gonna be building an inter in interstellar space. This one is gonna grab its grades too. This one also. So, they are Mark 2, so this is Mark 3 one. So, let's have a look at this one, what it's gonna do. It's loading its materials now and already charging its shields in the meantime. It's having five shields dead on it. But of course, we are gonna get the energy collectors in that long time. So, we're having some quite some good lags here because, of course, it's quite a heavy game to record. We have a big galaxy going, bad computer. Of course, we are about to enter the system where we want to head into. Its energy is declining because of the hyperdrive. That's a big problem for these vessels. But we have now the first thing we need on our way to Galactic Dominance. Of course, colonization will be going to cost us a lot. So, with install distances, it wants to give us a passenger vessel once with the tech unlocked. So we're gonna give them a passenger vessel, which will be very limited, but at least it will be doing its job. So, it will at least be not a too bad vessel. And come on, center, and then we have the rest to get for life support and help. Okay, so this is gonna be giving its name sake. So half a sector of range for these guys. That's fine with me. So these guys are gonna be able to cover exactly half a sector with some basic population on board. That's good. Now we have the transport unlocked and uh, we are now going to grab the enhanced missiles very soon. Energy collection is gonna be hit very soon too. Well, of course, this would cost us a shipload to rush by now. Let's also just hope that our scientists will be able to speed this research up. And now we're entering uh, the system where we're going to build a new uh, science station for the high-tech research, which will give a nice bonus on top. This is actually going to be giving a 20% bonus. It's not very good, but it's also not too bad, actually. At least, uh... Okay, so we're constructing this research center, which will be the first one uh, really to be advanced. We can slowly start scrapping the uh, energy research. So, of course, this construction ship is doing nothing currently. Okay, we do have to construct some combat ships. Some other progress will blow these cultures apart. It's also quite likely to happen. But the retrofit of this spaceport will be very important now. So we got good income now. Still, it's rising and it's staying rising. So we are gonna be decommissioning two of these. 
eight tile right now. This one is going to be really fit getting a bit great, so two of them will be a resilient science basis actually now. And this one is going to get hit high too, so actually we are currently having uh, our Sith going. So the only list is going to be a fine system. Of course we want to unlock this colony tech quite soon, so it's going to be about 50-50 now. Energy collectors are now also unlocked, good. So we want to be mining this planet now. Well, we need a mining station, yes please, also. Okay, so we want to be having those uh, mounted on most of our stations now, and a few of our craft. Oh, as you have the answer, they trigger the beacon signals. There's pirates do there, and okay. But they're not hostile towards us, no, they're not. So that's fine. So of course we are starting to expand now, and we've got some potential colonies coming soon. Because uh, this is currently being very well colonized. I think we will be having some good colonies coming soon. It's a shame that the independent colony over here in Vinare is still too distant. And by now I think it's not independent anymore, but at least these pirate empires are reaching off them very well. No, first off, we want to be installing those energy collectors on these vessels. First one, this is going to be uh, this one here is going to be not getting better great done. High-tech racing station is going to be getting better great, so they're going to be getting two of these. So at least we'll be having surplus and not be having their energy levels degenerate all the time. So they won't be re also. This will save a lot now costs for uh, running these stations. So the gas mining station, of course, also wants one of these installed. So we will have a little positive energy balance. It will, of course, not keep weapons running, but it does the job. So the mining station will get two of these instead of the extra plating. Of course. Small space borders here. They say, okay, you want an energy collector too? I'll oh, get it here. Two energy collectors. Good. These are gonna get three of them. Of course, 32 makes 96 in the end. Of course, large space borders are also gonna be grabbing here the three of four of these. So, okay. Now, defensive base is currently not getting any upgrades yet. No, this one might be able to grab this one on it. It's going down over the size limit, so this is fine for now. The frigate remains this way. Construction ship is gonna get us a great throw soon, so. But I've got plenty of range for now. So, enhanced space construction is going well. This deck is going to be costing still a shitload to buy. At least we're going to be heading quite fast to it. That's good. Now, starting our interstellar colonization, we're still not having unlocked uh, pretty much yet. Single nice intelligence agent here. So we're actually wanting to unlock as many places as we can for now. Now, so resources, uh, we are having quite shortages of a lot of stuff, so we're going to be constructing a few mining bases now, which harvest the very basic resources in our systems, which pirates will be going to buy, of course. 
so we want of course to be mining the very basic resources. Uh, nickel stone is actually going to be an important resource of that, but for now... Building our initial resource stockpiles should be a uh, priority. Ah, they want lead, of course. We're getting a gas mining station, which will be mining some Krypton. This will be nice. This is... This. So the Marsha Swamp plan is actually being a very good one. So let's get the ocean colony. This one is not gonna get any... Uh... The Marsha colony is actually gonna be getting a population on top of it, so we have two colonies in this system eventually. Now, space construction technology. Well, sorry guys, but I'm already having it research myself almost. So these pirate guys will actually not be making much money off me for now. These guys are having plenty of warships, but they're all not controlling the independent colonies just yet. So uh, we have not many defense fleets just yet. Uh oh! Advanced missiles! That's gonna be nice tech to grab. Up there are uh, scouting the system are likely refueling here. So you want to raid this one? Yes, I find fine. Of course, this it is. Yeah, these pirates are nice really. So, we are just fine here with colonizing the main stuff. And second star here. No potential research locations yet, potential mining locations. Which are going to NZ is having some Nicola stone here, which we want to mine eventually. But now we are having everything we need. Just, uh, I think the pirates are somewhere up there with their bases. Of course, we can be bridging this gap this way. Yes, and by that, Kamas becomes a nice... Uh, oh, crash research initiated. So we're going well. We're soon capable of building bigger ships, which will aid us with great lengths. And uh, with enhanced missiles also almost being done. Next up for research will be the hyperdrive tech, so we will be unlocking some really advanced tech really in a moment. Also more advanced engines, which is a cheap tech actually. But it's nice to be able to uh, develop this quick. Now Space construction research, yes, so we can be giving our construction vessels a small upgrade. Of course the destroyer becomes constructionable now. Which I do not exactly like just yet. We're just gonna give the construction ship a spin very soon. So at least for now we will be construction ship seems to be obsoleted entirely. Yes, I think it's obsolete by now. Show latest buildable designs, that means that construction ships should be between these, but we cannot build it. Seems. Well, construction ship here, CST1, that ship is obsolete. Well, we got a frigate here, the frigate design which can now be announced. There is construction ship, it's obsolete manually, great. This one got those shieldings on it, and we want to give it the energy collectors, so gonna get two of these. Some extra cargo storage. 
comes to more habitation now. But with that only comes three extra shielding and another cargo bay. And extra fuel. So this will cause these vessels to be a really monstrous vessels. So let's show buildable no maps leads once more and we're gonna get the frigate into interstellar space flight. So we had a war bubble and we're gonna give these four shieldings. Well you know when you say why do you add so many stuff on it? I simply say in this Okay, it's gonna just go just over maximum size, okay, that means that we gotta slap one component of it. Well, these guys are gonna be fast raiding vessels. So they're gonna withdraw when the shields at 50% because that's one that you're really gonna die. They are fairly fast, fairly maneuverable. So these guys are actually now the early uh, vessels. They are gonna be early harassment vessels. The escorts, on the other hand, will be doing not that much currently. They will be getting some upgrades, and they have 200 shields stuck on them. They are gonna be. They have interstellar drives. They have everything they need for now. So, but these are really highestly short-ranged vessels. So we're gonna give these escorts a little bit more range, and we're gonna slap. The escorts are gonna later on be built around one single reactor. That's currently the statistics used. Also, these guys are gonna be kiters, so they will be keeping to use the missiles, and they will be soon switching to concussion missiles, of course. They should be unlocking any moment now. Because due to bigger sizes allowed, we can be building likely the defensive base once again, which will be getting a sort of great cycle. So. Here we go. Now, it's gonna be getting a nice uh... ah, weapons precinct at Felty here. I do not know where this system is located. Ah, oh, Lenta Primus, like humans. Oh, it's actually now these guys. They're actually way stronger than us. They got a way bigger population, so that's not good. But Felty is gonna be getting a nice science base on top of it. There should be one construction ship outside automation which is actually gonna be a Q next mission build a planet felt here and weapons bridge station. Ah look we got these guys now concussion missiles so we should be giving an automated great run across all our current designs auto grade so we are having Designs automatically, some upgrades given. So, we are gonna try to unlock this tech and these one. These are heavy techs, but they will give us a long term advantage. I do want to try to crack research this one, but it's not gonna happen anytime soon. The torpedoes will be the equipment of choice for the destroyer vessels. They are meant to destroy bases, so destroyers will be a really fitting name to them. Okay, so. This would base is upgrading. And I'm getting some good children now. The Dama Spaceport is now having its weaponry upgraded and is packing some decent firepower now. So of course I'm just gonna take a short look in this system here. This is science base on this planet here. It is gonna slap an upgrade on top. You are also gonna retrofit and you're also to go to. Okay, so at least we are gonna be having soon some stiff activity also in the Faltier system. Some ruins in this system here, Cuban. And it will be here. Exalted period pyramid of Cuban. Well, it's a desert plant which we can colonize straight away, but it's poor quality. So, we are actually currently trying to unlock two techs. Now, economy should expand slowly, but not steadily just yet. We can, of course, try to version down rebuild our technology basis of these, but it's not 
much resistance yet in that. So the combat system will actually be going to slowly keep upgrading its stuff. Could, it could of course unlock tech colonization faster by just decommissioning one uh, of the two energy uh, science bases. That's what we're gonna do. Because we want to be colonizing all the way over earlier. So this one is gonna be scrapped. Good. No. So science bases are currently now good in the running of becoming our prime basis for research. Yeah, they are providing more research than the than the spaceport is gonna be ever going to. So this is gonna be good. I know twenty k. That's really some nice stuff here. That means that it will take about forty uh, forty months to unlock the tech. Am I sure that it's giving only twenty k? 237k and it's 4 million. So I'm just counting uh, that it will take uh, 4 years in game time to unlock it. Because colonization tech is rushing forward slow. Oh, we got a new intelligence agent which will be able to give us an edge over enemies. So this guy is not doing anything at all currently. So I want to make attacks from these guys. They're having plenty of tax we covered. And it's really I'm playing it dirty, but we have to do the control game in some way. So storage systems is a nice tech to grab. Hyperdrive is also gonna be nice because it'll boost our technology we really about, but it will be costly if we lose this. So first of all, we're just gonna be grabbing this early on. This guy is not tested yet, but it's having an espionage skill uh, set, which will be giving us an advantage in that. Ah, we got an, an empire in the campus system, eh? They are actually... Okay, so enhanced resource exploration is nice tech to grab, but goodbye, we're not gonna grab that. Ooh, we are... Discovering some nice uh, stuff, so yeah, we likely want to have the Skurns as our friends. So they're actually, yeah, these guys are gonna be really hostile soon towards us. It's no problem at all. Pirates are still our friends, they will most likely be leeching off that independent colony over there. In the meantime, we should be rushing towards more advanced FTL technologies. Which are these days. Colonization is gonna go for first priority though. Ah, it's gonna need to be a 40% for press research to be initiated on it. So uh of course, with this news, our economy should have been slightly expanding. Yes, 2k. So, okay. This is uh, 6k yearly private fire protection cost. Well, that's fine, but not all. Daltor is going to get its science base there. That's good. Then I actually want to make this one uh, very itself. Of course, we keep starting to build some defense pretty very soon. It might be my cancel empire, but we're not to go in a give up territory up easily. This uh, X Rebirth music is adding some very nice atmosphere to the game. At least we are having some good tech here. Oh, 
Well, at least we have a good empire now running, and I'm wanting to finish the first part here. So I want to thank you for watching, and there will be more episodes coming, so... Well, I hope you liked it. Thank you, and uh, feel free to watch next time. So I'll be continuing to save the galaxy. So, till the next time.